What do you think, babe? I think a big tree and there's a sweet bird over there knocking. Surrounded by woodpeckers. <laughs> so that last video we filmed was pretty darn windy. We've got some uh, improvements to the audio equipment this time. Um, hopefully, this one sounds a lot better. Um, we had, boy, I think we had five hours, almost six hours of footage on that last video. We knew it was windy, but uh, boy, we didn't realize it was gonna be just so hard on the audio quality. The audio quality of that last video was just terrible. So we apologize for that. We're trying to do our best here. We're on the top of a hill um, in Iowa. Pretty much uh, second highest point in the quad, if you know what the quad is. I'm not going to get into that, it's, but uh, regardless, watching that last video and being disappointed by the audio quality, I was paying attention to how long I was in the, those cuts when I was cutting that tree down. I was in those cuts for a long time, meaning it was taking a long time to get through that tree. Now that tree was dead though, so it's dry, it's harder to cut, but it's definitely harder on your chain so I'm just gonna go through and touch this thing up real quick it's not that hard this is a here's a $13 kit off of Amazon just run through it real quick a lot of folks just change their chains out and that's fine but there's a lot of life in these chains if you know how to sharpen them chain that came with the saw. We've had the saw for two years. Um, we don't use it. I mean, we use it more than most folks, I guess. But don't use it a ton. But it doesn't take much time to tune the chain up real quick. And this is, this is the chain that came on the saw, so it's been on here for two years. Big burr when you first start, and once that burr is gone, you can just kind of go back and forth here. here. And some of you might wonder why the husk barn is upside down on the bar, and that's because every other time I sharpen this chain, I flip the bar over just to make sure that uh, this bar has good longevity. You can see this one. See it shining back, that's one I've already got. You got teeth going different directions. This one's cutting off of this side. This one's cutting off of this side. So today we've got a big oak tree that uh, one of my good friends knocked over one night when we were out here at 2.30 in the morning. He was ripping through the old woods here on, this, on our four-wheeler. You hear him hit a tree or something. We were all kind of sitting around, had a few wobbly pops in us, kind of wondering what was going on. Comes up a little bewildered looking. He'd wreck the four-wheeler. Not bad, just hit a stump on the trail. Actually, he didn't hit the tree, but we sure blame him for knocking over the tree because about five minutes after he got back up and we're sitting around the fire, we heard this big oak tree fall over. So we went out to investigate, and the craziest part about it is that oak tree landed right on the four-wheeler trail. So if he had been there five, six minutes sooner, man, that thing would have hit him. It was just a crazy thought, but so we gotta clean 
that mess up today. It's, it's broken off about I don't know, 14 feet up, if I already guess. So. We're surrounded by woodpeckers. <laughs> surrounded by peckers. Anyway, here's the uh, tree that our buddy Matt hit. Knocked over. Just kidding, Matt. But, uh,. You can see where it broke off. I mean, it's kind of nuts. We're just hanging out. Hanging out around the fire, and this thing just splits and falls over. You can see right, right here is the four wheel trail, or the walking trail, four wheel, or whatever you want to call it, through the timber, and this thing's laying right on top of it. So, it's going to be a heck of a mess. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do it. We're just going to start working up our way up from the end, but I almost need a dump truck or something to load this thing in because comparing it, there's Tasha. So, comparing this to that little trailer behind her, I'm guessing it's only like, what do you think, 119 loads, babe? Yeah, maybe 120. <laughs> 220, 221, whatever it takes. Yeah. So, that's the challenge. We'll see what we can do. This thing is awesome. This thing is awesome. Okay, so I'm nervous about if it's like leaning on it. I'll get that one. So, like anything. That one's off the ground. So yeah, so like if it does this, we're good. Yeah. But anything that's real like stuck Smashed to the ground. into the ground. Don't cut it. Don't. Well, yeah, you're gonna. I want yeah, the whole. We gotta get all the stuff off the top. Yeah. Cause it's heavy. Yeah. You know? How are we gonna get up there? Um, I'll just get the limbs from the stump and drop them onto the ground. Okay. And then we'll just chunk them up. So is that okay that I'm just kind of carrying some of the stuff off? Yeah. At all. I mean, yeah. Okay. There's no other way. I mean. Yeah. I'm no pro at this kind of.
Roll. <laughs> okay. 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 This is too big for this, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's I mean, all kinds. Okay. But I, we just had to do it yeah. to get it out. Yeah. All that down there is perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna go back down there. Yeah. Okay. Man. Man. tied into the stump for the trunk it looks like it's just sitting on top of that it really can't die.
in there, though. You are. I'm over here jacking around. Well, you're doing the big shit. <laughs> gonna fall this way if I cut the stump. You know what I mean?
Not bad. No. A lot better than it looked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotta clean that up. A little bit. It's not rotten. That bark is falling off. It looks good in the middle. 
had me nervous. Just it's rotten. You don't know what's cold. You know.
All right, so you're successful. That's an ugly, ugly stump. Um, I was super nervous. I didn't want to be underneath that thing at all. So I was just kind of shooting blind because I knew I was gonna, we knew we were gonna come along and over. We got this uh, rope come along. Um, here's why this thing roughed up. This thing is, yeah. Completely hollow in there. All that decayed wood in there. It's nuts. When this thing broke, I just had water pouring out of it. And there's water dripping under the ground right there. Kind of hard to see on the camera, but. Seems pretty, pretty big. It was barely big enough to barely, I thought it was barely big enough to get through it. It's got 20 inch bar. So 16 of it's showing. But yeah, I mean, it was just enough bar. Bolstering it up. Bolstered. <laughs> wow. Get the mallet.
I'm just going to leave mom for burgers again. Yeah, that's cool. I can't believe you found that big shed antler. So cool. Yeah. Did you see there's still hair on it? There's little bits of hair and fur on it still. That's how fresh that thing is. I think that's, I think it's right from that uh, or buck that we saw. Oh yeah, for yeah. sure. That's awesome. like just scraped off. Like, I love that you got this dehum. We didn't even notice him. He was behind the tree. Really? And then we started walking up. We were talking, and we just saw yeah. jumping like really high. <laughs> away. Big white tail popped up. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, "Oh crap! Get out of here!" That's the white tail for you. So like, and they yeah. take off. So cool! You got to see that right away, man. We love it out here. We feel very blessed to have this place. Mm -hmm. Fun. It's like your own campsite. You can do whatever you want to. <laughs> the fire's not nearly as warm as the other one. You just stay in my head when it's warm. Mm -hmm. Me? Me. Oh. Short of spatula on the man. Yeah. Whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You can eat inside or you can eat outside wherever you want. Got some potatoes. Some burgers. Oh, those potatoes look good. I like when there's like a little bit of char on them. Yeah, that's when they're perfect. Oh yeah, nice work. The queen of potatoes. <laughs>
Got about uh, 2.9 square feet of counter space. <laughs> Look good. Yeah. Want me to try, Joe? Yeah, could you? Yeah. Whoa. A little boobered up. Yeah. Let me see. Good luck. Mm -hmm. It's Thanks. pretty hard. Why? I don't know. Are you patient or what? I don't know if patient. Good? Yeah. Okay. Want me to take it and make it for you? This is hot. I'll burn it. Okay. Well, I'm not very good at making perfect muscle. Takes practice, buddy. You working? Yeah, I got this thing to cool off. It'll burn my fingers on accident. Gotta As you can around. see, we had a couple of casualties while trying to make the you perfect muscle. You know what? Hey, Little gotta. Panda. Gotta break an egg to make an omelet, they say. You burnt kind of a lot of mushrooms. It's okay. Until we made one look like a mushroom. Alright, give me a mellow. Oh, alright. Just doing one at a time? I don't care. No, the stick the st isn't like wide enough. It's hard to get both of them off. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. This is risky, isn't it? There, Joe. That's where it needs to be. Yeah. Mm. I have a piece of chocolate. Well, I have them all ready to go. Oh. <laughs> it's hot though, huh, Joe? Yeah. Hard to see. Mm. Yeah, it's hard to see them, right? Oh, they're starting to firm up, though. Mm. My buddy Mark gave a class at the American Royal Barbecue on how to make the perfect mallow. Really? Uh, he taught, remember, you were there, weren't you? I don't know. He sat around his little gas fire pit and cooked the perfect mallows all night. Mm -mm. Oh, they were perfect. Just, just sat there and made everybody s'mores. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He made every single person he made every single person there a s'more. There was probably nine people there. He made every single person a s'more. And then as soon as he got done, the first person that got a s'more was like, dude, can you make me another one? So he made everybody a s'more again. Mm. <laughs> That's all he did. He sat there and made s'mores for like an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah, seriously, it was funny. Very, it's a very good class. Did you have one? Oh, I had two of them. Are they good? Yeah, the mallows were. This is, you know, this is my buddy Mark's mallow recipe right here. 